Just so you can all have your fix. Just have a quick look. That boat's going to take some doing, look. So as soon as the race cart is finished, we will be back on with it. Forget how beautiful that cage is. Look at it. Whoa. Look. Get your fix, get your fix, get your fix, get your fix. Have you escaped? Oh, yeah. So it's about lunch now. So we'll go in the office and we'll do the first ever Q&A. Right, it's Monday lunchtime after my weekend off, having a weekend off doing an upload. We're currently doing a brand new video that's totally different to what we've done before because we're that busy this week, but we've got a Volvo XC90. So because we're that busy this week, we've had to use this shunter to pull that Volvo inside. I cannot work on that. So this Sunday, we're flipping this Volvo. We've had to put an engine in it down there and we've had to get it back on the road, which we're doing this week. And hopefully we'll have it sold by the end of the week. So watch out the video. Can we flip this into profit in five days? So that'll be this Sunday's episode and we'll itemize everything of what it costs and the profit and how much we made and whether it's worthwhile doing. But that's basically what we do as our main living as well, it's flipping cars. So, right, the Q&A, Billy had asked a question. If you had to choose one car that you had to drive for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would have to be your only car and you'd not be allowed to drive anything else. Well, blubber me now. What, was your, what would yours be, Sam? 4K. 4K? What would yours be? That's a hard question, that like. Peugeot 205. Peugeot 205. 1.6 or 1.9? What, a, G a GTI one? Or would you drive around in a diesel 205? I'd drive around in any. Any two, oh, he'd drive around in any 205, so I'd say a 1.6 GTI for Sam. For me, oh God, for the rest of your life. So you've got to think when you're getting older. Um, that's a proper hard question, that like. Sam's a 205 nut, so I knew he was going to pick 205. I do like my Lexus size 200s, like. Rotten, I've had loads of them. Yeah, no, but you have, to, you have to weld it for the rest of your life, wouldn't you? So yeah, Lexus IS200, because I, I I love them. I've had loads, I've had loads of them. Oh, another one here by Nick. Quick question. Pop, bang, maps, yay or nay? No. No, hate them. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no. 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 Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. No, no, no. Sorry for the guy that has to fix it at the end of it. That's you fixing it all the time. So you don't like them? Never had it on my car. Nah, I've never had one. I don't like it. What would be your perfect mashup, if that's possible? Fiesta TT body. We're running gear. It's exactly what we're doing, really. The Fiesta, the Fiesta building. If you don't know anything about that, there's a link up above now. And what would you be your perfect mashup? Mind you, you did a mini years ago. What did you do with that mini? What was that on? Vitara. Vitara. Yeah, the, he put a mini shell on top of a Vitara body. Do do do. That Nathan, he put a nice comment there. I like. Having a day off, take it, chill out. I don't mind doing the editing though. I know the editing can take a long time, but I really, really don't mind doing it at all. So thanks to all your nice messages on that one. Who or what got you into cars? Uh, what was your first road car? Uh, mine was a Metro from the scrapyard that I did to look like an MG Metro. What was yours? Metro. Metro, 1.3, the mini engine one. Oh, mine was a 1.3. Oh, what? I, my dad did the bottom half of it in like stone chip brown, so he refused it. Mine was a, on a G Reg. New shape VW Beetle from J with old style retro wings fabricated all the way around. I prefer to do a, a Beetle body swap, so basically, like what we're doing with the XRT. I would think to put the retro wings on it could work, be a lot of fabbing. Something different, I suppose, but I'd, I'd prefer to do a body swap on it. Have it all in there, the roof, the shape, the roof, and that you get all the backing well. Q&A, how did Shine Automotive come about? Shine Automotive used to be Shine Valley. I opened the garage as a car wash in 2009, where we just washed cars and we built up from there. Met Sam from messing around with cars on the drag strips, etc. like that. Really, sort of just stuck together, really. And that's that, how that come about. So I was selling... Washing cars, cleaning cars, and then I started buying an odd car because we had room room on there and we just built up and built up. So yeah, that's how Shine Valet. Then it went to Shine Valeting. No, it didn't. It started at Shine Valeting, then Shine Valet, then Shine Valet Automotive, and now we're Shine Automotive. So that's how that came about. How did you get started? Uh, I heard you sprayed cars. I used to paint race cars and do race cars for a bit. I've always been into my painting and I've painted lots of stuff just learn off YouTube tutorials really, but I'm pretty good at painting. What else have we got? 
What's the three three ve favorite vehicles you've ever owned? Uh, my Metro, my first car. I'm always gonna love that MG Maestro Tickford Turbo. I love that. And what else? What else? My Astro van. I love it. I've had it. I've had it like eight years. I love it. What's been your free favorite? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Seabrook beef crisp. New spring back tomato ketchup flavor one. Peugeot. The Peugeot is all the way, won't it? No. Um, 306 205. <clears throat> and then I don't know, I like that Mark 1 Micro. You like that Mazda or not? That, uh, was it RX? Not RX8. RX7. Yeah, it's a saw. It's a saw thing that though, isn't it? But it's still a nice car, won't it? Never be able to afford another one of them. Yeah, though. but. So there, there's Sam's. We've got mine. What else we've got here? Who got you into cars? My dad. My dad actually got me into cars because my dad, my dad's always had some nice cars. He had a proper nice Renault 21 Twin Garrett Turbo, proper rare thing. And we went autograph racing one weekend. And when I was young, about eight or nine, and I just got the buzz for racing and cars back then. And that's been the same ever since. I've watched F1 since forever, really, because my dad's always been into the F1. That was that. Who else? Oh, the guy with the mashup as well. He want he thinks an MGB GT with a MX-5 running gear underneath. That's pretty much like uh, Urch Fabs did with whatever they it's did. Been done, yeah, it's been done. I think it's been done. Ah, Davis, echoing what the others said, but yeah, it's more important things to do in the uploads. I uh, understand that. Judging by those knees, Emily's paying for the rebuild. That's just our graph, that, mate, and it's been up. Uh, also, we have a Patreon. If you want to join that, your name gets mentioned in the description. Only a couple of pound a month, and that helps the channel, because what I really want to do is is have a day off where we just do the full filming, and then as we get bigger, just start sacking off working on boring average cars every day. Right, that is the first Q&A we've ever done. I know it was a short one, but they pinned in. If you like it and want to know have more q a's or maybe more midweek uploads just let me know pop a comment down below and we'll see you on sunday when we're doing the salvage car reflip can you flip it and make money out of it so don't forget got plenty of merch in buy some merch it really really supports the build so i'll see you on sunday have a good week bye